Hey everyone, Nuno here and welcome. Welcome to this episode. So this episode is the second uh, walkthrough episode for the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and we're going to um, keep on playing what where we left on the previous episode. So you can watch the previous episode by, uh, in here. You can probably look at the card that I'm, I'm leaving in here and also probably down below in the description or at the end of the video where there's uh, probably links to previous videos. Anyway, so in the last episode we were killing ghouls from um, our camp or ghouls in our camp that attacked us and by doing that we started the first quest which is Lilia Lilac Lilac? Lilac? I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. So Lilac and Gooseberry's quest and basically that is the main quest for the uh, white or orchard um, town or location area I don't know how you, you you say it I think it's 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 a town but also the location so on today's video we will be talking about um, the first part of this quest which is trying to find information about Yennefer and uh, basically what you have to do after killing and looting all the goals is uh, use your Witcher senses don't forget to use those because there is a crystallized raven skull uh, nearby skull. where you are Black and skull. you need to catch it because it's I it's a quest item areas. and it's needed uh, further on so after you grabbed it just um, reach you your horse so mount it and follow Vesemir um, he will be talking a little bit about story or something that you can, you, can you know, get a little blood. bit more information about what's happening in the world and what's whatever is happening out there. And you will follow Vesemir until you run across a merchant that was attacked or is being attacked by a griffin. Um, so Vesemir and Gerald, they will go after the griffin, try to protect the merchant. Um, they will hit the griffin, you will get in injured and you will fly away and basically after you do that um, you will have the option of demanding payment for your services to the, to the merchant because you protected him, you saved him um, now it's a choice, it's an option and if you choose it to get the payment you will receive 50 crowns which is not bad having in mind that you're starting the game and probably you're gonna need the 15 crowns um, if not if you are okay with that and you say you don't need a payment for it um, then don't forget that when you reach the the town uh, white orchard uh, the innkeeper uh, will reward you with four roasted chicken legs yeah exactly she will give you food because the merchant is family so she will give you food so you have to choose between food or crowns. No. Well, basically, I selected crowns because for me it was uh, worth more for it. Anyways, after talking a little bit with him, uh, with the merchant, which we don't have much to talk, it's just a little bit about Yennefer, um, you will keep riding east until you reach the village itself, the White Orchard. So, in there, in the village, just follow Vesemir uh, to the tavern and over there, when you reach there, uh, talk with the innkeeper. She will give you a little bit of information, not much, but she will give you a little bit of information. Select all the options to know more about what's happening and what you can do. Um, sometimes talk with the innkeeper to get uh, side quests. In this case, it didn't happen because we're still in the early phases of the game. Um, don't forget to buy the Gwent cards that she has to sell. Uh, you don't have to buy them if you don't want to follow the Gwent cards uh, or the Gwent quests or if you don't want to do any of it in, it's like a mini game inside this game but if you want to and I have to recommend it to do because it's extremely fun then uh, buy those cards they're good cards I mean they're not the greatest cards out there but they're good and uh, probably they're worth the money and it will help you a lot in the beginning I can tell you guys that much so after you talk with the innkeeper, uh, 
you will see Vizimir will sit down uh, in the corner of the uh, of the tavern, and now you can explore uh, the inside part of the tavern. So I would say that talk with uh, the peasants that are near uh, Vizimir. In fact, if you look into the to the ma mini map, it's basically north of him. Uh, talk with them. Um, right in the beginning they will be very um, antipathetic uh, well basically they will not be nice with you so you will have the option to use the axis sign on one of them um, basically it forces you to use it so use it you'll gain more experience and you will get the information probably you want or partially part of the information you want after that, just go talk with Gunter Odim. I think I'm pronouncing him correctly. He's in the other side of the tavern. He's alone. So, talk with him. He will ask you to join him in drinking. Select the invitation, be nice with him, and you will receive, just by saying yes to drinking with him, um, you will receive a free Nifgardian lemon I think it's juice Fine, or it's basically a drink for free. Can we cut to the chase? Uh, you talk with him, not. know more about Yennefer, Yennefer what's happening and all that information. And basically it ends this part of the quest or this part of the, of the sub quest. But you can still do some I stuff in here in the tavern. I and I would recommend to talk with the peasants that are playing cards. Um, you don't have to, but yeah, well, talk with them anyways. Uh, they will abandon or they will leave the, the, the table and will leave you with uh, one of those guys. Uh, the one that is probably, it's, I think it's a teacher, if I'm not mistaken. But talk with him, um, ask him about the war, ask him about what's going to be uh, the future of Novigard. And after you explore all the options you have um, to talk with him um, when you're leaving he will ask you if you want to play um, Gwent with him so you have the option to play or not play with him um, I would say and recommend play because by doing that uh, this is the tutorial for Gwent so you will learn the basics uh, on how to play this game plus you will receive, if you win, you will receive uh, a, the, a card. I think it's Zoltan Shive card, which is not very good, but, well, it's better than probably some of the cards you have in the beginning of the game. Um, you will also receive a book, and it will start a secondary quest, collect them all, which is, I mean, you don't have to do the secondary quest, but anyways, it's a good thing to do. So just play the game with him, don't worry if you don't know how to play it. This first uh, part of the game, it is it's, it is a tutorial in this in this uh, precise situation. But anyways, I will do uh, later on uh, a video about how to do the uh, how to play Gwent basically, some tips and tricks on how to play Gwent and how to basically win most of the games. Uh, it's not an 100% uh, win rate ratio, but anyways, it's it's a pretty good one. I can try to give you some tips and tricks. And after that, basically, you're done inside the tavern. You don't have anything else to do in here. Uh, so I would recommend to leave the tavern. And when you do so, you'll be approached by the thugs that early in the game, they were very um, annoying to you or very rude Don't to you. Drinking. Not annoying, but rude. Um, and they will want to fight with you, they will want to kick your ass. Um, and here you'll have the option to use Axie Sign once again. Use it, because it will give you more ex experience. And, and plus, uh, you will only have to fight two of those thugs instead of three, which is uh, good, it's a plus. And uh, yeah, that's it. Basically, you fight, after you beat them, you are free to do whatever you want so um, you can finally start exploring the town and there's a lot of things to do a lot of things to explore I'm not gonna really focus mu much in, in in the previous video about exploring the town I mean just explore the town go go to 
uh, to the other places, talk with the people up there. Um, try to collect herbs to make some money, try to kill the, the, the chickens and the ducks, the cows. Be careful though, don't kill too much or else there is gonna be a very super strong uh, goal that is going to be after you and you'll die. But anyways, uh, go out there, explore the town and um, I will see you guys soon in the next video because I'm gonna stop the video here today. Um, I'm gonna stop right now. Um, and the next video I'm gonna keep on with the story uh, or maybe the next video will be some kind of side quest that probably it's gonna happen between um, this first part of the quest and the next part of the quest but anyways um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I wasn't too annoying to you guys or too um, talkative and by saying talkative I mean maybe not saying too much that is important but anyways please don't forget to subscribe uh, leave a like and a comment to this video if you want to say something about it or something about the Witcher. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon uh, on the next video. So, cheers!